these hugs are serious, wanting to learners only. Right? Because if we're going to do this, we might as well do it. So, so when you're listening to this sermon, I, ch I challenge you, and, and it's like you can be like, wow, that's a, that's a cool sermon. That's, for, that's good. That's good. No, that's gold. <laughs> it's worth listening to over and over and over. And when you hear it, you get it in your spirit. And that next time some stupid situation comes up, you overcome it yes. and you keep your joy. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Mm -hmm. yeah. Because you can listen to it and listen to it and listen to it and still fall apart the very next situation. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay? But what we want to develop is character. Yes. Mm -hmm. yeah. Right? Especially right. after a sermon right. like this morning. Yeah. We want to develop character. Mm -hmm. and in developing the character of God is going to take faith in God that He is there, that He is real, that just because your heart is going nuts does not mean that God has changed His mind about you. You are so loved. You are so chosen. You are so called. You are still okay. Amen. <laughs> Amen. You're still loved. You're still chosen. You're still called. You're still okay. Mm. Rejection's a lie. Mm -hmm. Jealousy is a liar. And I'm going to tell you, jealousy is crueler than the grave. That's what the Bible says, and I would not mess around with it if I were you. Mm. Jealousy is true. It's not something that you need somebody to help you overcome. You better overcome it. Mm -hmm. yes. That is not something to play around with. Jealousy is not just death. Jealousy is more cruel than death. <clears throat> jealousy is crueler than the grave. So, hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, hallelujah. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Come on, thank the Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank him that you've even heard his name. Thank him that you even know that we need his word. Thank him that you, that you even have the Holy Spirit. Thank him that you have any clue about anything about Jesus. You are blessed beyond blessed beyond blessed. You have all that you need. You have all that you need because Jesus is your shepherd. You are not orphans. You are adopted. You're not orphans. You've been adopted into the most beautiful family of God. You belong at the table with God. You belong at the table of God. You can sit down and eat in the presence of your enemies. You can sit down and eat in the presence of your enemies. You can laugh. You can laugh. At trouble. <laughs> you can laugh at trouble. Why? Because we have He's joy. already overcome. What she said. He's overcome. <laughs> you 
know, I would say that we owe the EBE to overcome the situation and overcome death. Mm -hmm. And then you got to dig back out from yeah. under. Pastor said, you know, Pastor, the reason that I listen to so many as soon as I get in the car is because I heard my brother say, ask 15 years ago, once you get the fire, how do you keep it? And at, at the table where, where you had taken us to eat, Claudio Grayson said, um, listen to something that builds your faith every day. It gets your faith all the way up every day. You know, I talked to Pastor at the table afterwards, um, just about the point that because the really, truly, the, the and he didn't really realize this. He's probably heard this story before, but he didn't really realize really and truly the story of the ten virgins is basically the main reason this church exists. Hmm. Really and truly, and some of you have heard um, Maddie was awakened and. Um, and then Tanache, Dr. Meese didn't even know this, Tanache, oh, who is yes. a, a worship leader for the church and helps them a lot, dreamed earlier this week about praying for me, for Maddie, someone else, and you just saw awakeners, mm -hmm. you know? And so it's like waking the body of Christ up. Wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up, wake up! Yeah. We have compassion for the lost. We want to win the lost. We want Jesus to touch the lost. But one of my main concerns is for the church who is lost and thinks they're saved. Yeah. And so um, I had even told Kevin recently, I said, I know that the message, the main message I'm supposed to speak is this one. Mm -hmm. And um, just recommitting to it, did not tell Pastor that. Wow. 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 He wasn't planning on it either. And just the Lord moved on really strong this morning. Mm -hmm. So, oh, thank you, Lord. <laughs> thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. 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 Thank you, Lord
like that. I like sun. That I like sun. That. <laughs> Woo! He's bringing the rebellious children home. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Come with me again. <laughs> suggest doing every day, all day. Just open his word. It's fine to have a structured reading plan. That's that, that's beautiful. That's wonderful. But also just let the Holy Spirit lead you every day to someone in his word that he wants to talk to you. In Jesus' name, let him minister to you by his spirit. Lord, we thank you, Jesus. 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 Oh, thank you, Jesus. 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 Thank you, Jesus.
This is uh, Zephaniah 3, 9. For at that time I will change the speech of the peoples to a pure speech, that all of them may call upon the name of the Lord and serve him with one accord. <coughs> Tell me in like um, three sentences of the return journey, what he's saying. <laughs> Just kind of go where we all kind of just feeling it. Ooh. <coughs> and I'll remind you. Molly, what you saying? A whole lot. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I uh, turned to Psalm 23 and then read through 25. And just, he just hides us in him. And then. He teaches us his path to make me to know your ways, O oh Lord. Lead me in your truth and teach me, for you are the God of my salvation. For I will wait. For you I will wait all the day long. Like. And then the fear of the Lord, the friendship with the Lord, the Holy Ghost is here. Oh, say it again. Say it again. The friendship of the Lord is for those who fear Him. I feel like He's just been showing me the last like two days that every every part of love I've been wanting, He is. He's my Father. He's my love, and He's my friend. He is the only source for all of that. And then keeping his eyes, keeping our eyes on him, my eyes are ever toward the Lord. For, for he will pluck my feet out of the net. And he has. He has! He has! He has! He has! Strike me. He teaches the humble. asking and you will receive what you ask for. Keep on seeking and you will find. Keep on knocking and the door will be open to you. Everyone who asks receives. Everyone who seeks finds. And to everyone who knocks the door will be open. Amen. 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 I feel so much confirmation from this morning. Just with feeling like these things I've been praying for months we start to get frustrated. And then the pastor said this morning, carry your lamp and your jar of oil. Might be moving a little slower, but you're, you're where you need to be and you're prepared for the long journey. And so the bride's here, which is, the end goal is him. It's not to get there quickly. It's not to get where anyone else is. It's to get there. So you can, <laughs> and it's kind of effective prayer. Mm. Now, now listen to that. That is a word. The point is not about getting to where someone else is. It is about you getting to the Lord. Mm. 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 Write that down. Yeah. What she just said, we, we've got to get that in our spirit. It is never about getting to someone or to where someone else is. It is about me, say me. Me. It's about me. It's about me. And, and see, if your goal is to get to where somewhere someone else is, then your eyes are on that person. It's not eyes on whoever you think you want to be like. That's idolatry, anyway. Yeah. Sure. Like, not only are you not going to get where you want to go, that's idolatry. I'm like, really not getting where you want to go. Did you catch my drift? <laughs> it's like, no, but seriously, like, that, that is not getting to where you want to go. That's like going to where you don't want to go. Yeah. I'm serious, because you're just, you're just digging out a place of, of, of um, you're digging out a snare for yourself. Mm -hmm. Here, man, it's a snare. It really 
I'm kind of trying to be like someone and I'm really wanting to be where they are. It's a, it's a type of idolatry and a, a fear of man. So it's fine to honor people, respect them. Y'all know this from pastors here. I fully honor and respect. I store whatever they need. You know, I'm holding up the bottle without the cap just so I can be a dream folder, right? I'm not trying to be cute or I, I seriously just think that would be really convenient. You know, people cup holder, right? right? Um, but you have to make sure that your heart's like you're in the right place for the Lord. And if your heart's in the right place for the Lord, you'll honor people in the right way. Mm -hmm. You could spend your whole life trying to honor someone and never really honor the Lord. You're really just trying to get them to validate you, approve of you, get yeah. something from them. Yeah. Wrong. It's actually teaching us, and it can be quite a process, too. But I love how you said that. It's so simple. It's not about getting where someone else is. It is about me getting to the Lord. Mm -hmm. Oh, I mean, that's all that was said tonight. That's just all that needs to be said. It is not about getting to where someone else is. It is about you getting to the Lord. To the Lord, not even the level of freedom that someone else has, or a level of whatever. It is Jesus. Who's freedom? Jesus. Jesus. Where the Spirit of the Lord is. You want to be where He is. Yeah. yeah. I'm serious. If you've got somebody in your mind right now, and you're all, you've kind of been trying to get where they are, you need to get to where He is. <laughs> He is there is freedom. And I love that in you like the fact that Sermon Spring gave you permission to go slow, right? Mm. Uh. Yeah. Maybe lie down in green pastures and all I want is just to go faster. Mm -hmm. Maybe like you, Lord. I'm telling you, most of what the Lord has said to me is slow down. <laughs> Every single time. Slow down. One time I asked him, Lord, when your presence comes on us, why? I mean, I'm a slow person. I mean, I am very slow. I am slow <laughs> about everything. And I'm like, when his presence hits me, I'm even slower. I would just kind of think that when his presence hits me, I would get, get more done. Like, <laughs> I'm like, why do I get even slower? And I felt him say, because I want you, I don't want you to keep missing me. Like, even at my human rate, speed, pace, whatever you want to say that, rate of speed, pace, mm -hmm. I, I constantly would go right past him, slow right past him. He's just right there waiting. Um, He's like, I don't want you to miss me. I slow you down so you won't miss me. Mm -hmm. uh, oh. yeah, like when, I'll just give you a story, example. Um, when the Remedialists were here, so we had um, the boys and I, Kevin was cooking. I was reading the Bible. <laughs> it, it was okay. It was kind of my thing. Yeah. So he's in the kitchen, and he actually said, when you read the, the Bible of the boys, well, Pastor was there, and then um, Austin came in, and Ross was there. And we were reading Luke 1, and the boys were talking about what they learned from it and what really stood out to them. And then Pastor talked some about um, the chapter, and then what really stood out to me, I'd already underlined it in the Bible. You are blessed because you believe <laughs> God will do what you say he would do. I can't get past it. Okay, so are y'all enjoying learning like some actual so much? Yes. So here I am sitting, talking over the Bible and what we're learning, and my spirit is just staying on you are blessed because you believe that God will do what he said he would do. You are blessed. And so I'm just like, oh, 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 oh. Then later I go and I ring to get something. And it's just, listen, y'all, it's just a gentle, gentle, gentle whisper. Okay, would you be with me right now? Now I'm going to Mermaid to get something and hurry back and 
And be helpful and useful. And that's good, right? Except I heard the Holy Spirit say, hey, could you be with me right now? Well, my human nature, like, I can't slow down. I need to go, you know, something. But I walked through my room, and I had my phone in my hand. I just pushed play. I'm telling y'all, if I get two to three minutes alone, I push play on a sermon of scripture. That's another thing. I am always feeding myself. I am constantly feeding my my spirit. Constantly. I don't I don't go two minutes without something going into my spirit. And so I'm walking through my room, he's like, Hey, would you be with me right now? Oh, I was just so excited I even heard him. I was so excited that I even heard him. And I said, yes, Lord. And I got down on my knees, and the sermon's playing. I'd almost forgotten about it. And in that moment, I was only there two or three minutes. I wasn't trying to make a production of it. I wasn't trying to be in the spiritual. I wasn't trying to be in there with the Lord when I could have been. Do you get what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Yeah. That's not it either. I'm actually just living my life, and the Lord says, would you be with me right now? Okay? So you don't want to try to manufacture these things. Mm-hmm. Live your life and love the Lord and, and be open and speak to me. Does that make sense? Mm-hmm. Yeah. And so I'm on the floor, and suddenly I hear King Joshua say, Faith is simple. Faith is simply the believer's heart believing that God will do. The Lord wanted to confirm mm-hmm. His word to me. Wow. wow. <laughs> so now I'm sharing it with you. Thank you, Jesus. And I'm going to share it in the Spirit. And if you have ears to hear, your Spirit will grab it. Mm-hmm. So now I'm going to allow the Holy Spirit to speak it through me. You are blessed when you believe that God will do what He said He would do. Mm-hmm. You are blessed when you believe that God will do what He said He would do. You are blessed when you believe that God will do what He said He would do. Mm. He doesn't say you are blessed when you believe that God will do what you're hoping He will do. Mm. There's room for that, but that's not what the word says. Mm-hmm. You are blessed when you believe. How much belief have you put into something God might have said? Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. Wow. <laughs> Too much. Whole lot. So save your energy. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and for and for some of you. Um, the, so for a lot of people, um, you, you're too shaky to really know what the Holy Spirit is saying to you. So you need to stick with the Word. Mm-hmm. Not in a weird way like, you know, wow, I saw two stars and this is two. Am I pressing the button? Oh, my Jesus. No, I'm serious. No, I'm serious. Mm-hmm. I am not joking. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You need to just go ahead and make it simple. Mm-hmm. So it, 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 you know, say, hey, provide my, for my needs. He also said, don't be idle. I'm going to get a job and believe God's going to provide for me. Amen. 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 Wow. Come on. Yeah. Mm. So, we are blessed when we believe that he will do what he said he will do. Now, sometimes you're going to get a direct word from the Holy Spirit. And he is going to put it in you and he's going to birth it through you. But also remember that you you can make things up mm-hmm. and then the enemy can try to sabotage you. Mm-hmm. So we need to, the Bible says we ought to practice the journey from good and evil. Mm-hmm. How many of you guys have ever done something you thought God said and it turned out it wasn't him? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Well, don't be ashamed. The Bible says we ought to <coughs> practice and if you can get more out of your wants and desires than his wants and desires, and maybe you want a husband, you want 
my first slip, but don't turn here right now, but John 8 31, Jesus said to the people who believed in him, do I believe in him? I believe, I believe in him. him. You are truly my disciples, if you remain faithful to my teaching. Whoa. And you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. Wow. So if you could be more faithful to his teachings wow. than your life. Mm -hmm. If you could be more faithful to his life and his teachings, in your life and your desires mm -hmm. and your whatever, you're going to get from there. You're going to get free and stay free. Mm -hmm. All right. Go ahead and write that down and study it later. I'm curious. Mm -hmm. John 8 31, Jesus said to the people who believed in him, Now, what is he telling them? Mm -hmm. You'll know the truth and the truth will set you free if they already believe in him. Mm -hmm. Wow. So he says, I believe. I believe. I believe. I believe. This is to me. So this is to me. You're truly my disciples if you remain faithful to my teachings. And you will know the truth, and the truth will set you free. Was anyone uh, just a little bit shocked, but pleasantly surprised? I don't know, maybe not so pleasantly surprised. Um, of how similar the teachings Friday night and this morning were to what we already know. There is no like, oh, but. Really, to do this, we're gonna like humble yourself, mm -hmm. be a servant, yeah. deny yourself, mm -hmm. make sure you're safe. Right. Oh, yeah. Thank you. I mean, what do y'all think? Yeah. yeah. Yay. That's beautiful. Yeah. Wow. Thank you. Oh, she is. Right where in my clip. Jeremiah 31. What? I love that one. I do too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the name of it is Hope for Restoration. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>
anything that makes you a Hallelujah. 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 Remember that denial is not always rejection, but protection. Come on. Amen. Yes. He will protect you. Yes. Yeah. Wow. How many of you see some situations differently? It looked like yes. rejection. It looked like denial. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, God. Yes. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> Thank you, Jesus. Okay. In that day, says the Lord, I will be the God of all the families of Israel, and they will be my people. This is what the Lord says. Those who survive the coming destruction will find blessings even in the barren land. For I will give rest to the people of Israel. <laughs> Long ago, the Lord said to Israel, I have loved you, my people, with an everlasting love. With unfailing love, I have drawn you to myself. I will rebuild you, my virgin Israel. <laughs> you will again be happy and dance merrily with your tambourine. <laughs> Again, you will plant your vineyards on the mountains of Samaria and eat from your own gardens there. Mom. The day will come when watchmen will shout from the hill country of Ephraim, Come, let us go up to Jerusalem to worship the Lord our yeah. God. <laughs> now this is what the Lord says. Sing with joy for Israel. Yeah. Shout for the greatest of nations. Shout out with praise and joy. Save your people, O Lord, the remnant of Israel. For I will bring them from the north and from the distant corners of the earth. I will not forget the blind and lame, the expectant mothers and women in labor. A great company will return. Tears of joy will stream down their faces. And I will lead them home with great care. They will walk beside quiet streams and on smooth paths where they will not stumble. For I am Israel's father, and Ephraim is my oldest child. Listen to this message from the Lord, you nations of the world. Proclaim it in distant coastlands. The Lord who scattered his people will gather them and watch over them as a shepherd does his flock. For the Lord has redeemed Israel from those too strong for them. They will come home and sing songs of joy on the heights of Jerusalem. They will be radiant because of the Lord's good gifts, the abundant crops of grain, new wine, and olive oil and the healthy crops and herds. Their life will be like a watered garden, and all their sorrows will be gone. The young women will dance for joy, and the men, old and young, will join in the celebration. I will turn their mourning into joy. I will comfort them and exchange their sorrow for rejoicing. The priests will enjoy abundance, and my people will feast on my good gifts. I, the Lord, have spoken. This is what the Lord says. A cry is heard in Ramah. Deep anguish and bitter weeping. Rachel weeps for her children, refusing to be comforted, for her children are gone. But now this is what the Lord says. Do not weep any longer, for I will reward you, says the Lord. Your children will come back to you from the distant land of the enemy. There is hope for your future, says the Lord. Oh, yes, Lord, thank you, Jesus. I was just, oh, thank you, Lord. When Pastor was observing um, our children and how they speak of the Lord and hearing stories about how when they hear something that's off base, they'll answer it with scripture. He said, there is hope for the future. Oh, wow. wow. Jesus. Wow. wow. And see, this is talking.
talking about, y'all. Anybody who's been lukewarm, anyone who's been in a backslidden state, anyone who came uh, from maybe some type of belief system, went into the world and come back, this is talking about you. Your children will come again to their own land. I have heard Israel saying, you discipline me severely, like a calf that needs training for the yoke. <laughs> Turn me again to you. And yes. <laughs> yes. For you alone are the Lord my God. I turned away from God, but then I was sorry. I kicked myself for my stupidity. <laughs> Anybody feel that? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I was thoroughly ashamed of all I did in my younger days. Oh. Is not Israel still my son? Uh. My darling wow. child. Uh. <laughs> I often have to punish him, but I still but I love him. Still love him. <laughs> <laughs> situation that surely deserved fear and anger then I would have chosen okay fear and anger come back peace go out now I'm back in bondage does that make sense yeah and listen to me it is a tearing of the flesh mm -hmm. to choose peace and see it's not a tearing of the flesh when you first experience peace and joy, is it? It's wow. just a little wow. 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 But then when wow. life starts wow. happening yeah. again, yeah. you pick up the old comforts uh -huh. like yeah. jealousy, yeah. anger, yeah. Wow. Wow. sexual addiction, pornography, yeah. whatever people use to comfort themselves. You know, wow. so what was David comforted by? The word, the word. The word of God. So deliverance is awesome. Discipline is another story. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So it's it's discipline to maintain deliverance. That's right. Well, that's a good one to write down. Yeah. It <coughs> takes discipline to maintain deliverance. Never get enough. <laughs> <laughs> it takes discipline to maintain deliverance. 
I don't just wake up all the time, just can't wait to read my Bible. Yeah. Sometimes, but sometimes I do think I'm actually listening because I'm not in that realm of the Spirit yet. So I kind of want to go do something else. Mm -hmm. So I just give myself some time. said that the other day he's like I'm, I don't want to harbor bitterness towards people because I don't want to get sick <laughs> I mean that, that wasn't his motive but he, he was saying yeah Because really and truly, the way you come in, those same things mark the way that you're going back That's, out. That is true. Mm -hmm. So really if good. you yeah. overcame compromise on the way in, you'll be tempted to compromise and you know you're on your way out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, if you lay down <clears throat> feeling rejected yeah. and there's peace and joy, and suddenly you're feeling rejected again. Mm -hmm. You're on your way to striving, you know, seriously. Mm -hmm. So you can start, okay, this is what I'm um, wanting to say. Thank you, Holy Spirit, for helping me. If you just commit, if we'll just commit the reality, when the Lord 
Tommy said, measure your moments by this. Because when my, me my moments are measured by peace and joy, oh, so beautiful. And as soon as I slip back into something else, measuring it by um, approval, by productivity, by this is a laugh for me, but feel for some people. Um, and by whatever it is, what happens is we can start seeing these things as real life and this other thing is a luxury bubble bath Sunday morning, Friday night, yeah. whatever. If we can start saying, no, this is reality, mm -hmm. then we can more easily say no to jealousy, no to envy, no to fear, no, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And not be overcome. Like Peter Joshua says, we'll stop trading our joy for these situations if we understand they're, they're not real. They're lies, they're threats to try to pull us out of the kingdom, to try to pull us out of this place of promise, to try to pull us out of the blessings of the Lord. But then, like the um, pastor said, these are things that it's not really up to God, it's up to you. Did y'all hear him say that yeah. this morning? Yes. It's yeah. true. These things are not always up to you. Most of these things are not up to God. They're up to you. He's already done what he needs to do. Everything's provided. Now it's up to us to choose. And to receive the faith that you just were speaking, right? Mm -hmm. See, this is practically speaking, living in the heavenlies. Practically putting your mind on higher things. Mm -hmm. <coughs> I love, 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 love how the Holy Spirit reveals to Elijah Friday night. You know, and he was like full of the Spirit and getting wet and all that. And I'm like, something was a little. Mm -hmm. Did you love that? Oh, yeah. yeah. That I got know. me set free too. Really? Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Yeah. Like, I don't know, there's something here, I don't know. It's like, I don't know, I don't know, I'm his mom, you know. I don't know, I don't know, you need more deliverance? He's like, I don't know. And then I was like, well, I don't know, I'll pray for you, and we'll talk fast for us. And then he's like, I know what it is. Mm -hmm. I know what it is. The devil wants me to get my eyes back on me. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He's trying to trick me into focusing on myself again, so I'll just miss all that God's done. Mm -hmm. Oh, I need yeah. to keep my eyes on Jesus. Well, I'm telling you, 100% of the time, this is true. Mm -hmm. yeah. Yeah. You know, when I was talking to the pastor about it the next day, uh, Dr. Mews loved this. I said, because what he's longing for, and y'all want y'all to hear me. When he was like, I don't know, something's just not right. What he's longing for. Who, who's ever experienced that? He, yeah. he can say, I felt that before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. What you're longing for is heaven. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <laughs> that perfect you just can't seem to oh. quite get to. Oh, <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> is heaven. Jesus, Jesus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> I said, Pastor Elijah was longing for heaven. And no matter what we get here, it's not quite enough, is it? No. No. Because no. <laughs> we long for the day that we can throw it off. Yeah. Yeah. Jesus, I'm serious. It's true. The Bible says, while we're in these bodies, we long yeah. to put on our new bodies. Yeah. Yeah. Elijah was, uh, he was just receiving all of heaven that he could get down here. But what he wanted was heaven. Like, Mom, I don't know, there's just something else. Yeah, it's heaven. Oh, Jesus. Jesus. That is put in you by God. 
that was not yeah. that big of a deal. Yeah. <laughs> Always was like this comes back to marriage, no child, no no nothing. Mm -hmm. What order do you mean? What you're longing for? Mm -hmm. <laughs> so you were perfectly united <laughs> in him. <laughs> if we could be satisfied down here. <laughs>
It's not meant to be satisfied here. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yes, Brother Smith, it's a beautiful quote about that. Mm -hmm. Something about, will you look it up for me? <laughs> Something like, you will have pleasant ends, I N N S, all along the way. Mm -hmm. oh, something about, I don't want to mess it up, so if you just put C.S. Lewis and pleasant ends along the way, I think you can pull it up. If you find it, let me know. <laughs> Found it. You read that well. Mm -hmm. Our Father refreshes us on the journey with some pleasant ends, but will not encourage us to make, like, to mistake them for our home. Wow. Wow. He refreshes us on the journey with some pleasant ends. <laughs> <laughs> I'll share it on the fridge too. Guys. So he refreshes us along the way with some pleasant ends, uh, but, but will, will not, not encourage us, us encourage us to mistake them for him. Wow. We are made for heaven. Wow. wow. <laughs> At its best, life is hard, in my opinion. Yeah. Like that road. The road, the sun, and the storm. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Sure said she just kept thinking about that, too. Um, I tell you, like, a little bit of a longer... I like, was thinking there was a longer one. Please, please, please read it loud. Okay. The settled happiness and security which we all desire... Say it again. <laughs> <laughs> the settled happiness Jesus. and security which we all desire, Jesus. God withholds from us by the very nature of wow. the world. Wow. wow. Ah! Read it again. <laughs> Thank you, Austin. The settled happiness and security which we all desire, God withholds from us by the very nature of the world. Wow. But joy, pleasure, and merriment he has scattered broadcast. Wow. We're never safe, but we have plenty of fun and some ecstasy. Yeah. It's not hard to see why. The security we crave oh, would teach us to rest our hearts in this world oh. and oppose an obstacle to our return to God. A few moments of happy love. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. A few moments of happy love, a landscape, mm. a symphony, a merry meeting with our friends, a bath or a football match have no such tendency. Our Father refreshes us on the journey with some pleasant ends, but will not encourage us to mistake them for home. Wow. Dang. So good, Lewis. Get high in space, and part camera woman. <laughs> you were doing it either. Yeah. You yeah. 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 were just going to put a GoPro on your head. We should get you a GoPro. GoPro, Cheyenne. We should put a GoPro on your head and a camera. Yes. Done. Don't anybody see what I'm seeing. That would be Get you. I love y'all. We, we love you so much. We're so grateful for you. Friday night. You were. Really you really were. Yeah. You sure. Yeah. I, I thought that was. You crushed it. Well, it's necessary. Hey. It's not just about I relocated. About people uh, who need to what we have. Yes. And so well, I want them to experience and see. You know what I mean? So that's so you know. While people are like, yeah, yeah. I'm like. Mm -hmm. I need your what, wow. what you can have. That's where my mind's going. My mind's always about more souls, more freedom, more freedom, more freedom. And um, when people can see something like what you all see, well, you can have. Yeah, we have. Yeah.
<laughs> <Say it. laughs> you know? Yeah. <laughs> you dream up, you will not be disappointed. That's what happened the night for Maddie's wedding. Um, I was going to sleep, and I was, there were three other girls in the room, and just, I guess, a mama heart, I was going to say, girls, don't forget to talk to God on your way to sleep. And then I was like, ah, oh, they're grown. I'll just talk to God, you know. And apparently, uh, Baylor said she felt like the weight of glory hit her. She thought it was an angel. Elise had the conscious thought God is in the room. Mm. And suddenly I start laughing, 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 laughing. Who hasn't heard the story 
Okay, I start laughing, 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 and I'm saying, <laughs> ah. <laughs> like, I'll laugh, 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 cry, 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 cry. Yes. And I'm saying, heaven's real! <laughs> Heaven is real! Because I won't go into all the details, but as I'm talking to the Lord, He comes and takes me by the hand, and all I can say is, like, He lifted me up out of my body, lifted my spirit, come, and took me to the heavens. <gasps> you should have stayed there! <laughs> <laughs> Why'd you come back, girl? You were living, girl. Let's go, let's get out of here, y'all. <laughs> <laughs>
ねや That your deepest longings are really and truly to be united with Jesus in heaven. Mm -hmm. 
That is the wrong way. I'm sorry, it's going all the way around. Oh, that's why you never feel completely secure in here. Pastor was telling us a story about someone that kind of did wonder someone who really was. Kinda, I don't know if I got all the details straight, but from what I could understand, he was testing him and so he would arrive now. Mm -hmm. And he said, don't do that. I haven't arrived. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Show me earlier this week a party to celebrate someone like stepping into their calling. Oh, mm -hmm. Can you imagine Paul having <laughs> a party to celebrate Paul's calling and just being encouraged to step into his destiny? Mm -hmm. I cannot even imagine. Mm -hmm. oh. Jesus.
Oh, well, let's finish there then. Mm -hmm. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I remember Jesus. Not during his eye, they were during me. I opened this and hit a Bible foot. And no, it was uh, Illinois Lightning. It was Illinois. Come back again, my virgin Israel. Return to your thrones here. How long will you wander, my wayward daughter? For the Lord will cause something new to happen. Uh, Israel will embrace God. These people are always looking for the new. People are actually loving their God and He. It is. Jesus. Fresh things. People are actually loving their God. That's the new thing that God causes. Jesus. surprised like how I was surprised that someone coming coming into something so knew that they hadn't encountered before and yet so boldly trying to teach the heads of what was happening like correct them well and and for me it was just interesting like the whole rarity of this is it's not about our kids <laughs> Jesus.
I love what Pastor said earlier. He was like, the biggest revelation we can have <laughs> is that um, Jesus died in the cross. And that had me just absolutely wrecked. Because I realized right then and there, it, that's, yeah, exactly what you said. That's a miracle. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Amen. <laughs> Do it, God. Amen. Do it, Jesus. I received that.
still makes it. Right? Wow. Thank you,
three or four things that you want to take home from tonight and meditate on and be changed by and to incorporate into your life. There are like two or three things.
think if you had an easier baby or mm -hmm. I'm serious, like mm -hmm. um, whatever your house, if you could just get it decorated, like <laughs> I'm serious. Yeah. For real, I'm a ju that's a real yeah. thing. Yeah. Yeah. And most of that is all trying to fill a spot mm -hmm. that will never be filled until we are there. Right. It's like the can it feels like the antidote to getting your eyes off of you is longing for heaven. Yeah. yeah. Just remember. And then you can just be satisfied. Whatever. Right. Whatever and ever, wherever. <laughs> That's how Paul could be content. It's not his room. Mm -hmm. I was content with my, he had yeah. much, he had little. He had been in wonderful mm -hmm. places, he was in prison. And Jesus <laughs> was his <coughs> refuge. something else would you write down something else that you really want i think it was the tearing of the flesh <coughs> to choose discipline and that deliverance is like mm. okay this is that's what i was trying to say this is the good part like yeah. i feel free Maintain. but then like discipline <coughs> not easy and that's something i've struggled with like i was praise god like delivered of the spirit of rejection this morning and then oh, today praise god. Praise god. Praise god. Jesus. Jesus. I know, I know. I know. Yeah, that's what, that's what it was. Yes. It's gone. Praise <laughs> Jesus. Hallelujah. It's gone. Hallelujah. But it like crept up this afternoon. Was like, oh, don't you want to like? Don't you feel rejected? Don't you want to feel rejected? Come on, come on, come on. I was like, no, I don't. I don't. Yes. 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 So understanding the difference between like being delivered and. The choosing. bondage of choosing. choosing. Well, choosing just because I'm tempted mm -hmm. I'm not bonded anymore. Yeah. I'm choosing to walk in Jesus. Yeah, <laughs> <Christ. Come on. laughs> yeah. So that was like, oh like, okay, that's the tearing of my flesh. Like no. And the deliverance of now this is just a tiny teaching. Being delivered now gives you the opportunity yes. to choose. Yes. Because when wow. a demon has that stronghold, it, it sinks beyond your willpower. Yeah. 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 Wow. It's a. Uh, yeah. And like, you know, mm -hmm. yeah. it's like, like yes, yes. Seriously. Seriously. <laughs> like the day I got delivered of fear and anger. When you said that, I was like, oh, praise the Lord. Yeah. I got delivered of fear and anger. That very day I was tested, mm -hmm. but the fear and anger were on the outside. Yeah, and come I got on, to choose. that's yes. right. Wow, when it was still here, it chose for me. Yeah, mm. yes, Ooh, wow. so much. then it was like, yeah. on the outside. Yes. Oh, that's so good. And then you can say no. Ah. Yes. So, so that's why so deliverance is important, but wow. discipline maintains the deliverance. Mm -hmm. yeah. Wow, that's good. because now I'm telling you. So I'd be like, yeah, but choose rejection. Um, you all the time. <laughs> <laughs> you are like a comforter. Yeah. 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 Uh, you choose yeah. what you want it. Because yeah. it's much easier than the discipline of Right. Because it's familiar. Right. It's way easier than renewing your mind and being transformed. Yeah. Right. Amen. 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 to say something. What else are you taking home tonight? Like, wow, yes, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Lord. Can I say something? Yes, yes, yes. So, going back to, like, the choosing as well with her, like, even this morning, Dr. Rios, he, like, put his hand on me, and he's like, choose wisdom, like, repeat, like, choose to be wise, like, it's a choice. Mm -hmm. So, like, yes, he gives you wisdom, but you have to choose to walk in it. Mm -hmm. And then, like, also with the, the door, like, the road post signs with yes. the sign yeah. Yeah, the guide things like that really like stuck out to me tonight and then also how you were saying of like when you start feeling these things like 
like, I don't know how to put this into words, but like, it kind of, it's showing you like, you're either gonna backslide or you're gonna be like, no, in the name of Jesus. And then like, the choice of um, like accepting it or not, and like not trading your joy, because it's not even worth it. It's not you worth know? it. Yeah. yeah, and your story was really encouraging of like when you had that choice. Like, I actually think about that a lot, too, when things wow. come up, and it's just, like, really helpful. So, Thank you, Jesus. Because yeah. the flesh, remember, as long as you're on earth, if the flesh gets to choose, it will choose what will kill you. Well, yeah. The flesh is that enmity with God. Mm -hmm. So if you don't discipline your flesh, your flesh will continue choosing death for you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Flesh is in the cave. It wants what it wants. Spirit is life. And so, you know, now that we've decided the Bible says, how does it say to follow the spirit? Let's keep in step with the spirit. Let's like choose to follow the spirit in every part of our life. Every part of our life. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Not just, yes, I'm going to go to heaven, but yes, I will say no to. Yes, yes, I will say. Yes, please. Praise the Lord. Praise It's all different. Uh, it's doing a lot right now. Yes. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody else, tell me two more. Yes. I, I guess it's like, I don't know, maybe just from like the teaching in general, but like hearing about like today I set before you life and death. Like, I remember that verse from like a specific in my life where it was like God was making it really obvious to like that there was either a path of like death or life but like hearing that again like now it was like not just in a really big obvious situation mm -hmm. but actually like it was like oh like in everything mm -hmm. it matters like so much and I feel like I like really needed to just like hear that and see that now. not just in a really obvious Today and every day for the rest of your life. Today and every day for the rest of your life. And becoming more sensitive to the Holy Spirit's yeah. Yeah. Like when I said I'm going out to do the right thing, right? Whatever. And he's like, will you be with me? Mm -hmm. down to the it wasn't a three-hour thing. It wasn't even weird. Like, Told him I kept being sensitive to Jesus. That was so good. I'm so glad you shared that. Three minute intimacy with Jesus because he wanted to say something. So good. Yeah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. And faith is very simple. It is the believer believing the Father believes. <laughs> so, uh, I was like, I'm not taking care of God's temple. Uh, I'm going to, to work every day. I mean, on Friday, I tend to stay later. Uh, I stayed till 5.30 in the morning. 
Right. Just so I want to make a few extra. You said you'll play three. Yeah. 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 Yeah.
Taylor, yeah. this is for you, honey. Yeah. So, who's ever felt like a burden or like, yeah. whatever, <laughs> even in this church? Yeah. <laughs> 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 who's ever, who has the devil ever tried to get you to leave? Okay. <laughs> <laughs>
And that was the IQ that was the personal promise from the Lord oh, Jesus. with his daughter. Yes, Lord. That's what we were reading. That's the one. only one that I felt was an actual promise for this church body in regards to moving us into this building because you got to remember, I didn't want a building. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I um, wanted to stay in the house. So I really needed to hear from the Lord. And that's, the, that's the promise. I flipped to that the night that the whole like the glory inside, like with your wall of fire around us and the glory inside. And I remember you said that. It's confirmation. Thank you, Jesus. So is your clip anything? I was reading Zechariah 8 verses. Can I read this one verse? Yes. Yeah. Um, now I will rescue you and make you both a symbol and a source of blessing. Yes. So don't be afraid. Be strong and get on with rebuilding the temple. Get on. That's what my Wow. Daniel, uh, everything we're reading tonight, Jeremiah 31. Zachary, all of it is really reminding me of what the Lord is doing in you today, which we'll know more and more as we go. But you just told me you were being rebuilt, remade. Wow. Oh, wow. Yes. wow. Yes. Hallelujah. You look good. Bush. I'm excited to sing. Mr. Bush. Mr. Bush, yes. <laughs> Well, what a sweet night. This has been one of my favorites. So sweet. It's <laughs> rich Sunday. Thank you, Jesus. I can't wait to get you. Oh, thank you. I guess we can turn it off. Love you, live stream. Love you, live. Love you, live. Come and be with us.